Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. So today's video is long-weighted one. It's my weekly weight loss update. Better than just a weekly weight loss update. Today is also my one month return to keto. I will start with my weekly update and here it goes. My neck as expected, has stayed the same. My biceps has gone down a half centimeter, which is 0.1 inch. My chest has gone down two centimeters, or 0.7 inches. My waist has stayed the same. But to be fair, I could feel some bloating going on, so it might as well be just that. But because of the measuring tape showing what it was showing, let's stick to that. The fattest bit of my tummy, my safety ring, if you may call it that, has gone down by 1 cm or 0.3 inches. My hips, minus 1.5 cm or 0.5 inches. And my tights have gone down 2.5 cm, which is almost an inch. Uh, talking about my weight, this week has not been very great at the weight loss, but I guess it's normal. As I have said in my previous video, um, it could be for so many reasons that your weight stays the same. And yes, I do have a reason this time, clearly, and you will see it a bit later on. So, this week I have lost 1.4 kilograms of weight, which is 3 pounds. My BMI has gone down one digit. And also my inner fat has gone down, which is amazing and it always makes me happy because I know that the progress is happening and I'm getting healthier. But looking at other numbers, I can really see why my weight has not gone down too much. My water level in the body has grown by half percent, which is really good because good water level in your body is very healthy. As far as it's not water retention or, or any other health issues. And my muscle mass has gone up by one kilogram. But with that, the thing is with muscle mass going up, I have been walking quite a bit again. Therefore, it's clear for me that it is the inflammation of muscle as it's worked up. By centimeters, I could see that centimeters have gone down. So I'm not really worried and I know that once my body will get back to normal state. Also, the weight loss will show. Now, let's look at the monthly update. During this month, since I have returned to keto, I have lost the drum roll, 8.5 kilograms or 18.7 pounds. That's, to be fair, it's a bit a lot for one month, but I guess because I had so much to lose, that might be the actual reason why this weight loss happened so drastically. So within this month, I have lost one centimeter or 0.3 inches from my neck. From my biceps, I have lost 1.5 centimeters or 0.5 inches. My chest has gone down by five centimeters or 1.9 inches. My waist, and here goes drum roll again, 10.5 centimeters or 3.9 inches. My fattest part of the tummy has gone down by 5.5 centimeters or 2.1 inch. My hips 5.5 centimeters or 2.1 inch and my tights 4 centimeters or 1.5 inch. Overall, this month guys, I have lost 33 centimeters of fat or 13 inches of fat. Just before I restarted keto, I had ordered these jeans. They arrived and I tried to put them on, but even though it said right size on them, it clearly was not. So I put these jeans on as far as I could and I said to myself, this is going to be my first little goal. I need to get in these trousers. 
I was not expecting to get in them within one month. I was more assuming it would be at least two months. I was not able to put them over my hips, not to dream about closing. Today, I not only can pull them up properly, but I can close them. Now, I need to set another little goal. I think this has been incredible months for me and I can see all this weight loss happening in my body. I can feel much better. I really feel much lighter, more emotionally than physically, to be fair. I have more energy. I'm really pleased and happy that I have chosen keto because it has helped me so far really, really in a good way. And I wanted to give you another update. I wanted to give you an update on how much I have lost since the beginning when I started dieting, which was back in last days of November. But I have to remember, I had a period where I stopped keto for a while because I was not fe feeling very well. So I kept dieting, but it wasn't keto. Therefore, the weight was not going down really drastically. And another thing, once lockdown started, I stopped dieting at all because the food limitation was massive. And also I was not able to do sports or activities the way I used to do before. So I gained six kilograms back and then I lost eight now. So I have lost whatever I had gained plus two more. So from the beginning, of my dieting journey after I had my second kid, I have lost three centimeters in my neck, which is 1.1 inch, 4.5 centimeters of my bicep, so my chicken wings are shrinking, which is amazing. And that's 1.7 inches. My chest has gone down by 13 centimeters, which is huge. And it's 5.1 inches. And guys, the biggest drum roll ever, my waist has gone down by 25.5 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. And fattest belly part has gone down by 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches. My hips by 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. Tights 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches. Totally, since the beginning of my dieting, I have lost 15.4 kilograms or 34 pounds. And my total fat burn in centimeters has been, I don't know, I might be feeling embarrassed to say only because I had gone so far that I was this fat. But then again, that was an illness. And thank God I did find out that it's the illness that is causing all this because now I can work on it. To reverse it but it's huge amount I have lost huge amount of my fat and it is 80.5 centimeters of fat all around my body which is my arms and legs and belly and chest and everything counted together but it's 80 centimeters guys I have lost 80.5 centimeters it's incredible it has not been easy and definitely it's still a long way to go, but I have worked hard to get where I am. It does start to feel like the weight loss has slowed down and I believe the big amount has come off because I had so much to lose. If I can do it, anyone can do it. You just have to want to do it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll find it at least tiny bit inspirational because all you need is determination. You can do it or together we can do it, but it can happen. Don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more if you haven't done that already. And press the notification button so you would get notification for any upcoming videos of mine. Let's all have a wonderful week. Let's hope that this week will bring as good results as did previous week. And I will see you on Wednesday on my What I Eat in a Day video. Bye, guys! <laughs>